about 15 years ago. Holy, wow, I need to, sorry, I need to pause and just absorb the fact that it's been 15 years. Okay, about 15 years ago, creationism was a big thing. I don't know if you remember, some of you weren't alive. Creationists worked really hard to force their Bible story into science classrooms, arguing that we should teach that instead of evolution. And when they couldn't get away with that, they argued that we should teach the controversy uh, and that evolution was only a theory They tried passing federal bills, but those got shot down. So they then created dozens of identical bills to pass individually state by state because fewer people pay attention to what's happening at the state level. They made the bills vague exhortations to protect religious freedom and to prevent the indoctrination of children. For the most part, those bills failed, uh, but in some places they succeeded and we had to spend a solid decade cleaning up after them. Less than 10 years ago, the same thing happened with abstinence-only education. The same people argued that we should teach abstinence-only instead of actual sex ed. Uh, And if that failed, then they argued that we should teach both. They tried passing federal bills that failed, so then they created dozens of identical bills to pass individually state by state because fewer people pay attention to what's happening at the state level. They made the bills vague exhortations to protect religious freedom and to prevent the indoctrination of children. For the most part, those bills failed, but in some places they've succeeded and we've been clean, attempting to clean up after them for the past decade, uh, along with bills about abortion and birth control restrictions. This year, 2019, the same thing is happening with climate change. The same people are arguing that we should teach that anthropogenic global warming is a myth and that Uh, If we can't teach that, then at least we should teach the controversy and teach kids that climate change is disputed science. They've made dozens of identical bills to pass individually state by state because fewer people pay attention to what's happening on the state level. They've made the bills vague exhortations to protect religious freedom and to prevent the indoctrination of children. Seriously, it's happening again. They are a broken record, and in turn, they are making me into a broken record. I hate them. South Dakota, Arizona, Virginia, Maine, Montana, all of them have introduced bills in the past few months trying to break down the ability of science teachers to teach kids about human-caused global warming, a concept that is not only accepted by 97% of climate scientists, but also it's a thing that is almost certainly going to royally fuck the human race if we don't do something about it. The kids who won't be learning about this are exactly the ones who are most royally fucked by it. It's the worst thing we can do. Montana is taking a page right out of the creationist book, And by that, I mean out of the textbook that creationists edited to include a passage saying that evolution isn't real. Yes, that happened. Uh, This is the exact same bill, just about climate science. It states that science texts would have to have a disclaimer in them reading the following absolute lies. Reasonable amounts of carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere have no verifiable impacts on the environment. Science shows human emissions do not change atmospheric carbon dioxide emissions enough to cause climate change. Claims that carbon associated with human activities causes climate change are invalid. And nature, not human activity, causes climate change. In Arizona and South Dakota, they've passed identical bills saying that no public school teacher can advocate for any issue that is part of a political party platform at the national, state, or local level, which would, as chance should have it, actually include global warming, evolution, and sex ed. Let's just knock them all out. The main bill is pure teach the controversy nonsense, saying the rules must require a teacher to provide students with materials supporting both sides of a controversial issue being addressed and to present both sides in a fair-minded, nonpartisan manner. The Virginia bill is my personal favorite because of its completely naked political bias in which legislators whine. This is actual, like, professional Congress critters wrote this. They're whining that teachers 
speak to captive audiences of students in an attempt to indoctrinate or influence students to adopt specific political and ideological positions on issues of social and political controversy under the guise of teaching for social justice and other sectarian doctrines. Ah, yes, teaching children about social movements and accepted science. The nerve of teachers. Let's take bets on the next scientifically non-controversial idea the religious right will attack uh, using this exact same playbook. Will it be spherical earth? Will it be that smoking causes cancer or that hurricanes aren't uh, acts of a vengeful God trying to punish the gays? I'll just write up the script now and leave blanks where that specific stuff will go. And it's going to save me so much time. Like this month, blank number of states have introduced identical bills calling on teachers to teach the controversy about accepted science. The bill's language is purposefully vague in order to sneak it past unsuspecting constituents who won't realize what's happening until their school children are learning about made up fairy tale from the Bible instead of actual accepted science. To fight this, please call your state representative and remind him or her that it is current year, and we'd prefer to move ahead into the future instead of regressing into the 10th century. Perfect. I just saved myself so much time. Future me is going to be so relieved.